Hey, what's up, guys? Devil Dog Gamer here. Welcome to the Marine Corps Mondays, and I'm still sick as fuck. So you guys are gonna have to bear with me. I'm gonna be hacking my brains out. Literally cannot sleep. But you guys, I get more fucking people saying, "Oh, where's Marine Corps Monday?" than anything. So gotta bear with it. Gotta do it. Whatever. Uh, fucking haven't been able to record much gameplay because I'm just been so sick and I don't know headaches. Don't really feel like playing. So might be lacking gameplay this week. Anyways, whatever. This week, Marine Corps Monday, I want to talk something about, it's a little near and dear to my heart, gun control. And uh, how a Marine feels about gun control. I think fucking gun control is worthless. It's not going to work, and it's fucking bullshit. I've carried a gun every day of my life since I was 18. Never missed a day unless I was somewhere I wasn't supposed to go, which is very rare with a gun. And the thought of me not being able to carry a gun, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Like when I was in New York and I didn't have my gun... I didn't like it at all. I felt fucking naked. I felt fucking exposed. I didn't like it. Um, so this whole gun control shit scares me. Oh, everybody's talking about, eh, hey, we're gonna ban all the guns. It's, it's fucking bullshit. Listen, people got killed. Whatever. People get killed every fucking day. It doesn't matter. Whatever. You're gonna, you're gonna ban the guns. Like, literally saying, okay, you're not gonna be able to buy any more of these guns. It's gonna solve the problem. It's not a gun control problem. It's a mental health problem. There's people out there who are fucking sick in the head and will do anything to kill other people. They'll do anything. Look what Timothy McVeigh did in Oklahoma City with fertilizer and diesel fuel. You're gonna ban fertilizer and diesel fuel? You can't. It's stupid. Evil will always win, and I, for some reason I thought that guy was fucking enemy. I don't know why. Evil's always gonna find a way to fucking do harm. And it doesn't matter what the fuck you do, what laws you pass, whatever. It's, gonna, it's always gonna happen. Whether it's a knife, a baseball bat, a car, fertilizer, diesel fuel, and a fucking rental truck. It's always gonna find a fucking way. And taking firearms out of the only fucking people that are willing to do something about, you know, to protect themselves and protect people around them, it's fucking stupid. It really is. It's like, hey, all the good people, we're gonna take all your fucking guns, we're not gonna let you buy any more guns, but the criminals and all the crazy people are still gonna be able to get them, and all you gotta do is call 911. Listen, I've called 911 before, and I've had, I've had it take almost in half an hour for the fucking police to get there on a fucking pretty legit call. 30 minutes! And even the fastest I've seen them come is 3-4 minutes. A lot of shit can fucking happen in 3-4 minutes. I don't want some fucking 20 year old fucking asshole who's fucking barely fired his 9mm Glock to fucking come to my rescue. Fuck that shit. I'm gonna come to my own damn rescue. This is, this is the bullshit I'm talking about. The only thing right we really have is the right to defend our own selves and choose when we live or die. That's the only real right we have in my opinion. Is that we can stand up and say, okay, today, you know what, I'm not dying today. Fuck that. I'm gonna fucking make sure you're dying. You, you, you know, that's, that's, that's why I carry a gun, because I don't want some fucking asshole to pr decide when I get to die. Nah, fuck that. It's not his choice. Fuck that. So, to me, this is all just fucking retarded, and it's really stupid. Like, oh, we're gonna take ban all fucking assault rifles. Doesn't fucking matter. An assault rifle is nothing. If I wanted to do a mass shooting, I could do more damage with a 308 Remington 700 hunting rifle than I could with an assault rifle. I could have mass numbers of fucking body count. Not because of fucking 30 round magazines and fucking, you know, high capacity magazines. Because of fucking the range and fucking distance and fucking caliber. It doesn't matter if the gun looks fucking scary. It doesn't matter. It, it's, it's stupid. This, you know, and this all stems from these fucking stupid politicians. I tell you what, I've lost full confidence in this government. Like, I can't even believe I fucking did their bidding. Like, it's sad to say that I fucking joined up and I did whatever the fuck they told me when these ass clowns fucking run the show. Like, seriously. My fucking dumbass sister could do a better show running this government. I, I, I guarantee you, it's, it's retarded. These fucking stupid assholes. And that Feinstein bitch. I can't even believe this bitch. Wants to ban, like, everything. The bitch has a concealed weapons permit. Talk about a fucking hypocrite, man. This is... America has gone down the tubes. I fucking hate this country. Like, honestly. And fucking... It's stupid. I'll, I'll move to Canada. Fuck this. <laughs> Anyways, I know a lot of you from fucking the UK and France and all that shit are gonna talk about fucking gun control and, oh, you guys don't need guns. Well, I'm sorry to say, but, um, 
Yeah, they worked pretty well for us in the past. Um, like, when you guys were being tyrannical over us and fucking... We totally kicked your ass, and then next thing you know, we have our own country. Yeah, that's why the Second Amendment is important. Because the people are always going to be stronger than the government. You really think the fucking government's ever going to do martial law when everyone's got a gun in their hand? You really think so? If I was a Marine, and they said, okay, we're going to send you to this city, you got to take everybody's gun, you got to do a fucking... Uh, what do you call it? God damn, drawing a blank. Um, curfew and all this shit and arrest people and detain people. You really think I'd carry that shit out? I, that's a death wish. That is a death wish. Same with if I was a cop and they said, okay, we gotta go confiscate everybody's guns. I'd quit. You know how many cops I know that I've talked to? All my friends that are like, I'll quit if they tell me to go fucking confiscate people's guns. Uh, I'm not getting shot. It's... The only, you know, they're, they're really the only way they can enforce this gun control bullshit is to actually just ban the sale of certain guns. They're not going to be able to confiscate guns. Because you'll have every fucking public servant in the world quitting. Because they know what's going to happen. People aren't going to give up their guns. It's the one right that we have to protect ourselves from everything. The fucking enemies of the state. You know, fucking our own government. Assholes who want to come in and fucking rob and rape our women. It's the only right we really have to fucking protect ourselves. The government's not going to protect you. The police aren't going to protect you. You have to protect yourself. And just because some asshole killed a bunch of little kids... Whatever. There's kids dying of Syria all the time. Go to fucking liveleak.com. Look at all the fucking guys, you know, the fucking babies that are getting pulled out of rubble and shit. Nobody cries over those. I barely see shit about Syria anymore. That's their own government doing that shit. And then fucking some kids get killed in elementary school. I mean, call me a cold-hearted person or an asshole or whatever, but I didn't really give a shit. I was like, whatever. Guy went in there and shot some kids. Big whoop. I've seen enough fucking killing in my life that I really don't give a fuck about it. Like, honestly. Seriously, I'm a cold-hearted person. Like, if a family member of mine would die, it really wouldn't fucking affect me that much. Like, I'm not that fucking sentimental of a person. Like, honestly, death's death. It's on to the next life. There's no fucking point in getting all pissed off about it. Just fucking say you had a good run and fucking bon voyage. People get fucking butt hurt over the stupidest shit. Sure, could we have prevented it? Yeah. I, I remember going to high school and there were cops in the fucking school. Where the fuck are the cops? Give them something to do. Every time I see a fucking cop, they're sitting there playing solitaire on their fucking computer in their car. Come on, dude. You know, that's the fucking shit I'm talking about. It's We do nothing to fucking protect our own selves. And when something happens, everybody cries wolf and wants to blame fucking guns and video games and fucking stupid shit. It's how the human race is. This is how we are as a people. We fucking... We're evil. We fucking destroy everything we go to. Everything we get a hold of, we fucking destroy. I mean, look at what we're doing on our fucking planet. We fucking destroy our planet. That's, I wouldn't be surprised if our planet just fucking keels over and implodes on itself sometime soon. <laughs> that would be some shit, wouldn't it? At least it would be a fast death, but anyways. We're, we're all evil. There, there's always going to be evil in this world, and you know what? It doesn't matter. Fucking take, take the guns, whatever. It's still gonna happen. And then fucking, what are you gonna tell people then? They're like, oh, we're gonna ban fucking knives and spoons and shit because they can be used as weapons. It's, it's all stupid to me. This is all just a fucking retarded fucking witch hunt to me. It's, it's stupid, honestly. And it's fucking, it's not guns that kill people. It's fucking people. And this makes me so fucking pissed when people are like, oh, the guns are the prop. No, it's not. I can fucking load a gun, leave it in front of me for fucking a day with the safety off, and it ain't gonna shoot me. I need some asshole to pick it up to fucking shoot me. It's fucking stupid. But anyways, gun control, it's... I don't know. One of those things that I get kind of heated about when some fucking soccer mom comes up. No, you don't need a gun. You, even one of my own family members was like, oh, they don't need assault rifles. And I'm like, who the fuck says I can't have one? It's a free fucking country. I carried one in the fucking do the bidding of the government. You tell me I can't have one now? Alright. Well, what changed? Nothing. Just a different war zone. That's all I look at it as. This is a fucking different war zone. But yeah, gun control. Anyway, so I'm gonna be bringing more shooting videos sometime soon because I fucking went and bought an arm and a leg worth of fucking bullets and guns and stuff because, uh, just in case the ban happens. I'm not saying it will. It probably won't. It'll probably be a fucking stupid fucking like assault weapon, Clinton assault weapon ban that some Republican will get into office next fucking whatever and fucking 
get rid of it just because it's stupid and it doesn't fucking work. But anyways, uh, yeah. But even if they do do the, you know, where they can't buy it anymore, oh uh, fuck my nose. See, this is what I'm talking about. I've been so fucking sick these past few days. It sucks. Like I've been trying to play Daisy, and like literally, I can't even like play for ten minutes because I'm just like, oh, my head's killing me. Ugh. Okay. Anyways, okay. Say say you do a ban, and uh, fucking, you say okay, you can't buy any more assault weapons. You know that, like, every AR-15, AK-47, and fucking every gun I can think of is sold out. Sold the fuck out. That's never ha- I've never seen that before. So, those are people who are just stocking up, buying them for the first time. There's guns everywhere. There's guns everywhere now. So, say you can't buy them anymore. Okay, well, the stats were already that 1 in 11 people has a gun. Okay. Now, with this band coming up, I'm pretty sure it's, like, 1 in 5. So, they're already out there. It doesn't matter. You can't you can't ban something that's already there. It's, it's all stupid. It's it fucking pisses me off. Like it really fucking does. Like I fucking I don't want to live on this planet anymore. I've been saying that quite a few fucking times this week. Really don't want to live on this planet anymore. This is a dumb move. I heard the engine noise and wasn't paying attention. Ugh, it's all dumb. It really is. But whatever. That's media for you. The media fucking sensationalizes this shit and fucking. And you know, ugh, fucking pisses me off. You know, there's been so much shit that's happened in Iraq that I know of that the media never said a fucking word about that Americans would have been fucking pissed about. Like, they would have wanted to nuke the fucking country. And nobody ever reported shit because they're fucking... They want to report all the bad shit. Like, oh, a fucking Marine killed a kid. whoop the fucking do it happens. Like, that's all they report. They don't report about any of the fucking bullshit they would do. And it's always the bad shit. The media just reports all the bad shit and make everybody get all fucking butt hurt and continue watching the news. And it's stupid. I really fucking hate the media. I really do. And Pierce Morgan, I swear to God, that motherfucker. Somebody, just fucking please, run him over if you see him on the street. I, he is the... Mm, don't even want to get started. Don't even want to get started. Fucking Pierce Morgan. Stupid motherfucker. Britain, please take him back. I don't want him anymore. I don't want him in my fucking country. Please take him back. Immediately. Like, get him the fuck out of here. He's really, like, I'm really looking down on you guys because of him. Like, honestly, please, take him back. Immediately. <laughs> I don't know, it's stupid. Fucking. It, and it's hilarious because these fucking politicians and shit, they're all thinking this is going to fucking happen. And they're all, like, you know, on board and stuff. And all the cops, all the military guys I know are like, nah, this is, this is dumb. You know, they forget that half this country has done more for this country than they have. And now they're saying, nope, can't do it, can't have this, we don't want you to have this. Nope, no more guns. To the same people who fucking sacrificed a lot more than those fucking assholes did sitting there, you know, not getting shit done in fucking Congress and Senate. Because that's what they do, they don't get shit done, they sit there and fucking, you know, wheel and deal with each other to make a fucking ton of money sit on their asses so our taxes go up and shit, and not do fucking crap. I think we need a reset. That's what we need. We need a reset. Get all those fucking lifetime fucking senators out. They're all fucking stupid, man. It's, it's, it's dumb. There should really be a fucking term of service for fucking Congress. It's, you, you can't do more than fucking eight years like the president. It's fucking stupid. You that? Better yet, you know, I've said it before. It should be a fucking requirement that you are a veteran to be in any sort of political office. I think it should be a fucking requirement. Because, honestly, I'd trust a veteran over any civvy any day of the week with fucking the future of this country. Honestly. Because they were definitely ready to set up and fucking sacrifice everything for this country. And they're going to do the fucking same thing in making policies and changes. Except for these fucking stupid motherfuckers that have billions of dollars all they want to do is fucking get their name in lights and be an important person. They don't give two shits. It's stupid. Ah, America. Land of the free, home of the brave. Fucking makes me sick. Whatever. Can't win them all, I guess. Gotta sit idly like fucking cattle getting pushed into the grinder. But anyways, we're gonna fucking start back up with fucking stories and fucking... You know, questions and answers and all that fun bullshit. I want to, uh, you can tell I'm a little fucking pissed by now. I hate talking about gun control. 
I ain't gonna argue with the guys on comments. You say some stupid shit. I'm just gonna fucking hide your message because I don't want to see fucking arguments and shit in the comments. It's just not worth my time. I'd rather see constructive criticism and not fucking, oh, America, you and your guns, you're fucking gay. Well, fuck you too. I'm gonna fucking hide your comment because I don't want to fucking have a f troll flame war going on in my fucking YouTube page. And I fucking offed that dude. Anyways, what was I saying? I don't know. Well, I'm gonna be shooting, doing shooting videos. Uh, don't know if you guys would know what a slide fire stack is, but it's pretty much lets you fucking full auto your uh, your weapons. I got that for my AK-74. I'm gonna be fucking uh, and uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of that. I got a shit ton of ammo for it. We're gonna do some fucking cool shit with it. Um, long range shoot. Um, IDPA stuff like that's coming. Uh, I'm gonna can get my hands on an MP5 full auto MP5 select fire. Uh, I'll probably shoot that. I gotta see when you know money stuff's expensive. Ammo is fucking not cheap, and uh, I don't make a lot of lot of money from YouTube. And uh, getting ready to fucking quit my job and go back to school. So yeah, money issues. It's always money issues. Money makes the world go around. But anyways, I'm going to be doing some Skyrim. Daisy's coming back eventually, once I can fucking have the time to actually do it and not have a fucking crazy headache. Um, Wasteland, I'm in love with Wasteland. You're going to be seeing a lot of Wasteland. Um, if anybody doesn't know, Wasteland's pretty much Daisy with Op 4, Blue 4. They work together, build their own bases and stuff. Independents are like the fucking random dudes and you'll find your own guns, but no zombies. And uh, it's pretty fun. It's just straight up PvP mayhem, and uh, I quite enjoy it so far. So you're gonna be seeing a lot of that. I, I quite like it. Um, Daisy, Daisy's kind of like on a downward slope. I feel. I mean, I feel like not a lot of people are playing anymore. People have moved on, and uh, people are just waiting for standalone. And then I will give Warzy another try because I heard it's gotten a little better. Eh, we'll see. But anyways, I'm done ranting and raving. Uh, you know. You got something cool to say? Leave in the comments. You're just gonna be a fucking soccer mom. Fucking keep it to yourself, cause I'm just gonna fucking hide your comment. But yeah, fucking Second Amendment shall not be infringed. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.